We have two speeches today. Brian McGinnis, and he will be evaluated by Sharon Lipinski, followed by Moyana Rusin, and she will be evaluated by Suad Ali. Captain Brian R. McGinnis hails from Lima, Ohio, and is a 1986 graduate of the United States Naval Academy, where he majored in electrical engineering. In 1993, he earned dual master's degrees in acoustics and electrical engineering at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. Currently, Brian is here at the Naval Postgraduate School serving as the senior EDO and program officer for mechanical engineering and systems engineering curricula. Brian's awards include the Meritus Service Medal, Navy Commendation Medal, and Navy Achievement Medal, all of which have been achieved numerous times. Brian and his wife Kimberly have three children and reside in Monterey, California. Here to give his icebreaker speech, number one in the Competent Communicator Manual is Brian McGinnis. The title of my speech today is, Why is your name? Imagine, it's a bright sunny day, you're five years old, and you're walking timidly up to the sandbox, and there's six other kids in there, and you don't know if they're going to like you, and suddenly a face pops up and says, what's your name? And instantly, the ice is broken. And you have a new best friend for the next 30 minutes in the sandbox as you build your construction projects. That's a happy thought. As an adult, as a prospective parent, I have determined that you have just one right. The right to name your children. <laughs> and how you name your children will say as much about you as it will to influence them for the rest of their lives. And think as adults in our meetings. What is your name? Where do you come from? How do you like it here? But we never ask, why were you named the way you are? We'd like to ask some people, how did you get that name? So, by way of introduction, I will tell you how and why I named my children, or my wife and I named our children the way we did. My wife was pregnant. She's expected to have our child in February. We have odd hopes that it'll be a Valentine's Day baby. Valentine's comes and goes, no baby. February goes, no baby. We're into March. Hmm, last name McGinnis, March, St. Patty's Day. We'll have a St. Patty's Day baby. We're at a St. Patrick's Day party, and my wife is huge. She is whale huge. She is not happy. <laughs> and dancing at a party, still no baby. The kind doctor <clears throat> takes pity on her and induces her the next day. And my oldest child, my daughter, is born on my paternal grandmother's birthday. So we had talked about names, and we had come down to some combination of Mary which is my maternal grandmother, and Carol, my paternal grandmother. So I was voting for Carol Marie, or I'm sorry, Mary Carol, as my daughter's name, using their actual names by the derivative form. My wife informed me that she would be named Carolyn Marie because she had a friend in school that wasn't such a friend named Mary Carol, and she wouldn't name her child Mary <laughs> So it was Carolyn Marie, and she comes into the world. And we make the phone calls, and I go home, and my wife sleeps, and I come back the next day to find out she had filled out the birth certificate without me. And I said, well, how did you spell Carolyn? Well, it was C-A-R-O-L-Y-N, and I had intended it to be Caroline Marie, but it's Carolyn Marie. So she's very proud of the fact that she's named for her two grandmothers. We're pregnant again. 
this time as in the first. We don't know the sex of the child. We're trying to come up with names. We've come up with a girl's name that will be some derivation of my wife's sister, Kelly, and my name, Brian. But for the boy's name, we don't have a name picked out yet. My wife asked me, well, if it was a boy, what would you name it? And I said, well, my two heroes in life are John Paul Jones and George S. Patton. So we'll use something like that if it's a boy. Well, my wife's not keen on the idea, but she offers no suitable alternatives for a boy's name. So yet again, we have a girl's name ready to go and no boy's names. My middle daughter is born, and I'm informed that her name is Kelly Brianna. Okay, that works. We had agreed upon the format of the name. Yet again, I make the phone calls, I go home, I come back to the hospital, having warned my wife, do not fill out the birth certificate without me being present, only to find out she filled out the birth certificate. So I asked her, how did you spell Brianna? Looks at me puzzled and says, well, naturally, Brian plus an A. And I said, did you know that the common form of Brianna has two N's? But since nobody ever buys logo gear, the coffee cup with your name on it, using your middle name, it doesn't really matter. So my second daughter, <laughs> named for her aunt and her father. Finally, my third child, my son. We find out we're pregnant, and we go to the doctor. I am not thrilled. I have been to the point where in 10 years I get my wife back. She's no longer mom, she becomes my wife. <laughs> so we're at the doctor, and we're informed that because you're advanced maternal age, we're gonna do all of these different ultrasounds. My wife is dismayed at being told she's old. So we find out that we're gonna have a son. Well, it turns out there was a pattern brewing that I just didn't recognize it. For the first child, I knew my daughter's name. We had one picked out, no son's name. Second one, had a girl's name picked out, no boy's name. Third one, we're out of girl's names, and we're down to the boy's names. And we find out it's going to be a boy. I am living in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. We live on the Piscataqua River, and we're a stone's throw away from where John Paul Jones launched the Ranger, and the house he stayed in twice is in downtown uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Consequently, without thought, my son's name was going to be John Paul Jones McGinnis. So, you now understand the how and the why I named my children. But this was supposed to be a speech about me. So what about my name? Well, my name is Brian Russell McGinnis. So, with a good Irish name of McGinnis, my mom and dad naturally picked a good Irish first name, and that is Brian. And if you look up Brian in the names books, it means strong. And my middle name is Russell, which is my dad's first name. So now you know how and why I was named. Thank you.